guys welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome 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 and if you are returning ah, use a loyal one here i am back again with the duke i know i'm chewing this thing i always chew these things i don't know why i really really like chewing on them um the tags the price tag things i always chew on them but here I am again with the Duke. I said I'm not gonna do that again. Broken nail yesterday. These are my my real nails, so nothing is cute. I'm very upset. All my hard work and for me to break a nail. So this nail broke and it looks so ghetto. I don't even like. I look like I'm missing a finger. Anyway, I'm trying to do like a room makeover. Like this year, I just wanna make over my room. I uh, wanna get rid of this headboard. I've been saying that, but I am serious. I'm gonna buy a new headboard. I already know what kind of headboard I want for the first time. I know what kind I want. I, want, I know the color that I want. I don't want gray. Because my sister also recently just bought a new headboard and my mom as well, and they both bought gray. So I definitely don't want a gray headboard. Um, so I'm gonna go beige. Um, and I'm gonna do a different design from what they did as well. So Yeah, what am I doing? I am washing makeup brushes. I actually kind of just finished. I'm still in my pajamas child Gotta go take a shower but Let me show you oh, My back hurts guys My back hurts so I don't have that many brushes to wash today. So there they are and my sponges, that sponge over there is cheap. That's the Clicks brand and it's stained forever, as you can see. But anyway, so right now what I'm about to do is I'm going to wash the dishes, eat, and yeah, I'll see what I gotta do. But yeah, my nail is still ghetto. I get my nails done on Wednesday because I have a dinner on Saturday. Um, Rhea's birthday is on Thursday. So do we have dinner for her birthday on Saturday and this is not gonna cut it, okay? This is not going to cut it. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's so ghetto. It's literally so ghetto. But anyway, I'll see you guys. Look at that. These are my real nails, guys. I gotta cut all of my nails and start again. Boring. But anyway. But they're super long, guys. Like, my nails... I know they're dirty because I was busy washing makeup brushes, but like my nails are long. I think it is time anyway to just cut them and start fresh. So yeah, get a little when I'm doing something productive. I just want to start off a new vlog. I just want to say hey, how you doing? <laughs> Thank you for all the love on my last. I don't know if it's gonna be the last one, the second last one at this point, but my rant video, you guys actually came through for a girl. Like, that's a purr, like, mm. hey guys, my nail is so ghetto. I feel like I look like I'm missing a whole finger on camera, it's so disgusting. But I get my nails done tomorrow, anyway. The Saturday is Ria's, um, Saturday is Ria's birthday dinner and I needed a dress and I went and bought this dress because but anyway it's not the dress I want the dress I wanted they told me that they are out of small sizes they only have it in big sizes I'm gonna show you guys how it looks so this is the dress it's long sleeve I love a fluffy like a puffy sleeve um and then it's a bit open here i don't like it being too super open though so i think i am going to just put a a young pin over here and then it has rouging over here if you guys can see i don't know if you guys can see nicely yes rouged all the way there so it like hugs and you know it hugs my stomach and then we have a two step going on so i am so happy with this dress i am obsessed i love it uh on the back i don't think you guys can see properly okay there we go so the zip goes all the way to like right there oh you guys can see right like literally under my butt 
so it's a nice long but like it's gonna look so so cute with like my bag i didn't show you guys the bag let me show you guys the bag that i'm going to carry so Spusto's mom got me this bag i was saying Spusto's mom she's saying she can't find me a gift so for my birthday so she's like i'll send you money i'm like yes yeah, send me money because i had seen this bag and i really really liked it so i just ordered this bag so this is her gift to me guys you guys don't know how obsessed i am with this bag since i saw it online i was like i want this bag i wanted it was on my wish list for my birthday i wanted a crocodile skin small dainty black handbag that's how specific i was and no one got it for me and i think they didn't get it for me because i was so specific about the look of this bag so they were a little bit apprehensive as to whether i'm gonna like it or not so this is exactly what i wanted it's very small it's very small and dainty it looks big on camera it's actually very very small um it's super super cute guys like oh i'm obsessed and it has a little gold chain look yeah so i'm gonna carry this bag and wear black shoes I don't know which black shoes i'm gonna wear i have these um that's option number one sleek beautiful also have i don't know if i showed you guys but my sister for my birthday got me like a bunch of things and one of the things she got me was this perspex um black wedge and i really, really like it so this is option two so i'm either gonna wear these or the sandals with this dress and my backpack my hair i am going to do a sleek so i'm gonna sleep my hair down and i'm gonna do a ponytail and i bought some braiding hair i bought darling because i trust darling with all my heart that is the braiding hair that i use to get for all my braids in case you're wondering i use this the darling one million hot water that's the hippies that i use for all of my braids when i braid when i straight back straight up straight to the side half straight and then braids that is the hippies that i use i don't use any other use hippies i don't use expression on my head that is the hippies that i use i use darling always 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 hey guys so i'm eating a sweet i'm about to have my vitamins it's one o'clock so the other day i took vitamin c and i choked on the pole so hard guys i almost died i couldn't breathe well it, i didn't really like well i guess like you can call it choking but like it blocked my windpipe so i couldn't breathe so since then i've been taking the powder on just in case because i just don't trust like i trust issues but i i'll go back to the pole because we have a lot of pills in this house we have a lot of vitamin c tablets so i ate early on hey i ate around 10 ish but i'm only having my vitamins now So here's my thing 
I was truly, truly, I was really, really upset when I choked on the vitamin because I'm like, I'm trying to strengthen my immune system so that I don't get, you know, that other virus and God forbid it takes me out. And here I am in my efforts to strengthen my immune system to prevent myself from dying. I almost died because I choked on the pill and it almost killed me. Literally, it nearly killed me. So I was very upset. I'm like, that is so childish. But anyway, that was me taking my vitamins. Guys, look, ne? So I know that we love vlogs. Personally, vlogs are my favorite thing. But I also watch like people doing their hair and people doing their makeup and stuff like that. So I also want to start like incorporating those type of things on my channel like we can't watch vlogs every single day like sometimes i don't have anything to do like now i don't have anything to do this whole week and uh, it's just becoming a bit like you know weird to vlog unless like i'm gonna like cut my vlogs shorter then because then like i can try and when i'm eating or cooking or whatever like produce something a vlog but it's gonna be much shorter so for the longer vlogs like i don't know but all i'm saying is <clears throat> i'm also gonna do different types of content I'm, and i'm not saying the majority of my vlog is gonna be me doing makeup tutorials no or challenges no or whatever but i 95 percent of my channel will still be vlogs 100 110 percent but the other five percent i will here and there every now and again like do a hair video me doing my natural hair or playing around with wigs my makeup my perfume collection because my perfume collection i'm looking at it right now and i'm like <laughs> oh my gosh guys like my perfume collection grew over the last year like it expanded so greatly and towards my birthday like for my birthday my i got a perfume from my sister i got a perfume from my friend i got a perfume from my sister's friend that's I got a perfume from my sister's husband. That's four. Yeah. So for my birthday, I got four perfumes. Oh, and then I have another. Hmm, I bought that. Oh, and then I bought myself a perfume. So that's five perfumes just within the month of November and December. So you can imagine. She's growing quite a lot. My favorites are running out, and I don't know what I'm going to do because. I don't know guys but anyway that's all i wanted to say guys so we're gonna start do doing like some different content somebody and i did I, before i made this decision i considered you guys' feelings like let me tell you that i did because i don't want to make content that you guys are not gonna watch that's my thing so i did um consider you guys i went to my comments because like once when you have when you're a youtube creator you can like there's a studio that app and you can like view all your comments and stuff like that so i went and i read a few comments the comments that i did for my 1k giveaway and i looked at like you guys recommendations for the kind of contents content that you guys want to see on my channel and then also the other day somebody did um send me a comment saying that she's looking for something like i can't remember but i remember her and put putting in brackets makeup and cooking so i guess you guys want to see me do more cooking and makeup videos right so i want to do it in a way that is not going to clap it like you guys and irritate you guys because honestly even me i would not sit and watch myself do makeup every single day because it's really not my thing like that but i do realize that there is a little bit of a market for people that want to know how i do my makeup like proper in detail and that's why like for my birthday vlog i put it in there i included it because even though it wasn't in detail it was literally just me speeding up all of that clip i got i have a mosquito bite Ooh. i sped up the con the the clips but like you guys could just, like kind of like get a gist of it and today's ria's birthday guys so please tell ria happy birthday in the comments section below i love you my friend you are everything and more to me like i'm not gonna say too much and get all emotional but i already told Ria all of that and i got emotional and mushy so we're not gonna repeat it 
but yeah oh so Rhea was t I was on a video call with her just now and she told me that she went and watched my video where I was my makeup because she's wants to learn how to do her eyeshadow and I'm like hmm you know so I get it I'll try and see how I'm gonna do it I don't want to do it like formal style ring light softbox you know mm -mm -mm. like I want to do it in a very me way you know hey guys it is 10 to 2 and I just got finished showering I'm about to do my hair as you can see I did blow dry my hair yesterday I just did another um, blow dry just now just so that I can have it like lay flat so it doesn't give me problems because I'm about to do the middle part um, I just I wanted to show you guys how I do it but I'm so scared because I'm doing this for the first time myself and I just don't want to mess up you know especially because I have somewhere to go I did kind of what I practiced during the week, but then I was like, Ugh, I'm just wasting and it's not going to be fresh on by today. So I'm going to find a place to position you guys. Show you guys. I'm just putting my tripods in there. Right? So straight. I just put some oil in my hair because I had a little bit of flaking in the middle part over here. Which I just washed this hair yesterday, guys, so I don't know what's happening, but anyway. Uh -huh. and then I'm gonna try and stay in the clip as best as I can. I literally just. Um, I literally just thing in my hair. I wish I had a bigger brush. I just what am I trying to say? Oh, I just blow dried my hair again a little bit. I start by taking out them edges, child. But I wanna lay. Well like
so so sorry it is literally the next day i things just got really really hectic yesterday um yeah things got really, really hectic but the dinner went really really well um everything went really really well today's sunday just it's five past five we just took a shower child the girl is clean look cute uh, one thing about me sleek hair really really suits me because <laughs> but i'm just wearing this dress it's got a really like the slit everything to me but i'm just gonna play black play back some of the clips from yesterday so you guys can see the dinner how we looked we were warm i'm gonna start off by showing you guys a few snaps i took while i was driving so you guys can see my makeup how that turned out and then i'm going to show you the dinner like everything from dinner so you guys are going to just backtrack to yesterday right now we're about to we're just playing copyright music i hope this doesn't copyright my flag chat flag my thing my video but we're about to we're getting ready to go well, i'm ready we're going to get some ice cream and then i'm gonna go home because tomorrow's a birthday child and but guys the panda like oh my gosh i didn't show you guys like it is But yeah, that's how my pondo came out. I love it. I just need to refine it. I definitely can see where I could improve. But it was my first time and I was late. And I was like, it's going to have to do. But definitely, we got that. So if you guys want a detailed tutorial specifically focusing on the pondo, then let me know. I got y'all. Um, so yeah, let's go back to yesterday.
welcome, welcome. Same beginning. Yay! Talangan clean a coins. Okay. Color running. Colors running. That's nice. So so. That's nice. So. Hi guys. Welcome to the morning after. The night before. The night before. So a little update. You know what I'm saying? I must keep it in the frame. Okay, so little updates. We gonna have some key, uh, what dessert dessert dinner. We gonna have dessert brunch. No, no, two day brunch dinner. Supper dinner. Yes, we gonna have dessert dinner today. And we will celebrate my birthday yesterday. <laughs> so your girl is twenty seven years of age. Okay. She's very old, so I respect them much love Hulu. Okay. I'm the sister of stars. So on Thursday it was my birthday. And yeah man, another year. It was a new year for me. So all I'm saying is I thank Lord for this good life that I'm living. I'm grateful for every day, every second, every minute. Because without him I wouldn't be here. Okay? Hallelujah. Not a good vlogger, so if I'm not in the frame, I'm too close to the camera. Soz, sort of afraid to. Hey, kitty. Hey. How are you doing? I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. So we'll talk to you guys soon when we arrive to where we're going. Okay, bye. Can y'all see me? It is exactly twenty-two, no, twenty-five minutes past past ten. Okay. And when I tell you that I nearly lost my girl's camera, y'all, cause ka pa pa. We had a beautiful weekend. And because Ka Papa and I, I like the vlog life when I'm not even part of the vlog life itself, I don't took Kitty's camera to the restaurant that we went to. 
I didn't feel like sitting down. I took, wait, let me catch my breath. So I didn't took, I came into the restaurant that we went to cause I was popping. You know, I was like, girl, we go, wow, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And then, because Miguel was happy, busy drinking wines, she done forgot her girl's camera there. I was like, then when I got home, I was like, nah, -uh. there is something that is missing, you know? <sighs> I need water. There's something that's missing. And you know, I don't creep up into my pajamas. And I was like, you know, it's time to go to sleep because, you know, it's 10 o'clock. And all of a sudden, when I change into my pajamas, something like just dawns on me and I'm like, camera, camera is missing. The camera is missing. Cause because Papa Papa guys, like, shh, we want an Aquarius nature. Go, 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 Papa. Can you like camera? Cause while you are not recording, and then I became too shy to actually like vlog. And the whole time I was drinking wine, got excited, and then I forgot her camera on this other beautiful couch. And then when I got home and I put on my jam, my pajamas, I realized that you know. There's something that is missing. There's something that ain't, you know, right with life. There's something that is not, I don't know why I'm sitting here and just, oh, there's something that is missing, you know what I'm saying? And I realize camera's missing, guys. I never did 120, 130 in a 60 zone like this because I was trying to just make sure that this camera's safe. So I called the girl. I was like, listen here. If you look at that sofa opposite the cakes that you guys sell, you will see that there's a camera there. I want you to grab that camera, safeguard it with your entire life, and then I'm going to come fetch it. I'm literally five minutes away. Okay? She's like, nah, nah, nah. Bryce will have it if I'm not here by the time you have left. And I was like, don't worry. I'll be there in the next five minutes. Then I got... Then I got to the security place, right? Not security place. I got outside of the place and there were security guards not letting people in because you know your president and the curfew. The security guard do not want to let me in. And I'm like, you know what? The only way you can make it in South Africa and you can get anything that you want is if you involve money. You know, money speaks bullshit walks. Okay. So I don't got to give this man a little something for him to let me in so I can redeem my ghost camera. So I gave him a little something, something, he let me in. I go to the place, they are really like really good service. They ain't thieves, you know what I'm saying? I think it, if it was found by a customer, they probably would have stole it, but it wasn't. It was found by a waitress. And you know, genuinely, I feel like they could have gotten the opportunity to steal it, but they didn't. This girl was so genuine, she's so kind. When I got there, she was like, here's your camera. <laughs> I really thought it was over my life. She was like, no, no problem. I'm like, can I give you a thank you? She's like, don't worry about it. It's okay. These things happen all the time. I'm like, child, you're so sweet. Oh yeah. I really thought I lost my camera, you know? Of course, I had to give some exaggerated stories so she like keep my camera safe because you never know. You never know in these streets. I was like, listen, that camera done put bread on my table. I use it for work. It's Definitely work property. If I lose it, I'm gonna pay billions of dollars and pounds and rands. <sighs> but anyway, she gave it to me, sweet and safe. I mean, I lost a couple of rands having to get the security guard to give me my to get to let me in. But it's definitely worth it. It's better than losing a whole good quality camera. <sighs> When I, ta when I came out, now there's a huge roadblock. And I'm like, I'm definitely going to jail. Because I was just trying to save the camera. But you know, when I got Because, you know, the Lord is riding with me, y'all. When I got on that street and they were doing a whole roadblock, I'm 
genuinely a good safe driver like i don't i don't drive snacks i think the only thing i had was my music very very loud but i'm a genuinely good driver so i had my seatbelt on i had my lights on no window screens are cracked nothing and he was like no we're just checking if you're fine i'm like security oh no he's not security he's a policeman i was like police i'm fine thank you very much she was like we can see you fine girl i'm like definitely so then he let me through guys because i was genuinely fine like i'm genuinely fine okay and that was that on that on that is that was that on that and that is what it is we saved it y'all we saved my girl's camera so she gonna get you to do more vlogs no no she gonna get herself to do more vlogs because i saved her camera Okay, it's technically my fault, but I still saved. I corrected my wrongs. <sighs> Giddy, if you're seeing this video, child, please do not give me the responsibility of your camera. If you see me walk out of the car with your camera, stop me. Slap me on the hand, shout me and tell me to put the camera back in the car if you're not up, if you're not planning on vlogging. Because, wow, I've never been so stressed. Losing a camera is as good as losing a phone the kind of panic that i had was the kind of panic that you have when you're losing a phone because you're literally losing all your memories your life your everything so i'm really glad i really thank their honesty and their maturity because anyone else could have genuinely said we don't see it and that would be it would have been gone gone and my life would have been bad my birthday weekend would have turned very sour because I genuinely believe that if you break or lose someone's things, it is on you, girl. Because if I was in your shoes and you lost or broke one of my things, I would definitely want you to pay that shit back. But that's just me, y'all. But anyway, we're going to bring this vlog to a close. My girl don't know that I recorded this, so hopefully she's going to see it when she watch it. Whew, child. I even sent out a voice note after this to say, girl, I need to lost your camera, girl. But guys... Stop doing it. If it's not your stuff, stop touching it. Stop leaving the car um, with these things. Stop leaving the house with these things. If it's not yours and you know that you might have a possibility of forgetting it, leave it. Anyway, y'all, so I wanted to tell you. I feel like vlogging may be subtly my life. But it's fine. So anyway, I wanted to tell you how my weekend went. So a bunch of my girls, day one, um, they done organized a little dinner party, a birthday celebration for me, which I'm very, very grateful for. So I had a beautiful weekend. As we're speaking now, it's literally 25, just a little bit after 25 to 11. So it's nearly curfew. It is, this watch is a lie. It's the 21st of February. And I must say that I had a wonderful date night with my girls, birthday night with my girls. Uh, I received really beautiful gifts from them, which I'm very grateful for. And guys, it's really hard to find. Listen, vlogging, I think vlogging is my life, okay? Because I speak alone all the time. So I really think that it's very rare to find friends who are genuinely out there to celebrate you, celebrate each other. So for my case, I'm going to say you because it's me and it's my birthday week. So all the attention was on me for this weekend. Okay. And uh, through my journey, through my varsity life, through my high school life, through my primary life and through my life in general, I would say now I know what a good friendship is, right? I really know what a solid good friendship is and the friendships that I have built over the last 20 odd years or so. We are really genuine. They're really good. I did some a little bit of filtering with my friends. Um, you know how you know who are there for you, not who are there for you, but who you want to be there for you, right? You choose your friends. It's you know how they say you can't choose your family. You have to choose your friends. So I genuinely, I would say I genuinely handpicked my friends out of the friends that I genuinely had at the beginning. So I literally did this. I was like, you good, you great. Sorry you awesome and because you know this is kitty's vlog and kitty's my girl i'm just going to tell you a little bit about her a little bit no not about her but about us right so a little uh, um whew. i haven't given myself to catch my breath since i drove 130 kilometers to find this camera but now i'm home 
so i want to say she's probably gonna watch this and be so teared up but i want to say that a lot of the times when people ask me why are you friends with giddy why are you guys so close like why you know I, to I actually told her this i told everyone else about her as to why and eventually a couple of years not even a couple a lot of years later i eventually told her why i love this girl so much so you know how um as you grow up you know that you kind of know who you are right you know from primary to high school you you know who you are like you know who you are but you think you know until you actually get to a point where you know not. So, for example, I thought I knew who I was in primary. I genuinely thought I was 100%, 100% being myself through high school. You know, I had great friends in high school. I had awesome friends. Like, it was wonderful. You know, like, I thought it is who I am. Like, come on. Okay. And then I started my first year varsity, and this is literally how I met Giddy Man. So I started my first year varsity, I was in UJ, and I met the first two girls, right? So I met the first two girls, um, which is Amu and Hope, right? I met them together, and then we started induction, induction week, you know, how you go to school before actually starting school. That's how um, we met. And then through them, I then met Giddy. You know, Giddy was this quiet girl. She was very observant, child. Like, she wasn't trying to papel nobody on the first go. Like, she will observe you first to see if you're worth it or not, you know? So, I didn't know that at the time, obviously. So, I was just like, shish, this girl is so quiet. Like, wow. She's definitely calm. So, at first, I thought she was just really shy. So, when a lot of people were like, yeah, yeah so quiet i'm like give her a chance she will talk to you when she's ready okay don't force her you know and then we bonded over this one song i think it's something saxophone african saxophone that was a song we bonded over because i know that i looked for that song forever and i couldn't find it and then the one time i met this girl for the first time Asked about the song and she had it because she was a real house head, like deep house, commercial house. She was a really good music fan. And that's how I got to actually start talking to her when I asked her if she had this one song that I've been looking for for the past couple of months, I must say. Because I didn't know the name of the song. So every time I sang it, you know, me when I'm like, do you have the song? No, everyone was like, what are you talking about? But she instantly caught it right she was just like i know what song we're talking about i definitely got it and i think at that time we were using blackberries oh geez <laughs> yeah bis guys bis was it like 59.99 was a 60 rand on the dot somewhere there but we're using bis obviously she, then she sent me the song i was like this girl is the plug like she plugs me up until today with music she's definitely the plug for house music yeah house music no actually not house music even r&b actually she's definitely the plug so anyway that's how we bonded and so going back to knowing who you actually are so you you'd find that you actually know who you are in primary and high school but i definitely say i officially discovered myself in varsity and in the journey of discovering myself that's when i met giddy that's when i met all my other friends as well and for some reason you know when you think you're being 100% yourself and then you meet, you meet this one person that's like, <sighs> there's a sense of, <sighs> like I didn't, it just happened naturally, it just happened naturally like a <sighs> moment, you know, like a, <sighs> I was super relaxed, I was super being myself the whole entire time and that's why I realized, I'm like, I'm actually being 125% myself. I thought I was being myself the entire time, which was like a hundred percent, until I met this girl, and for some reason it just, you know, like it just, I can't explain it, but it just came together, like it was a moment, you know, like I didn't have to say much and she got it, you know, like I didn't have to do much and she just got it, like she just got it, like she just, I'd say definitely that this 
you know as you grow up you definitely feel like there's some people that bring out a certain type of side of you you know if you're chilling with really calm people the calm side will come out of you if you're chilling with really loud people the loud side will come out of you but when i'm chilling with her all sides all sides will come out loud quiet bored irritated angry um stressed all sides would come out when i was with her and i'm like i didn't know this was me though i, didn't, I never experienced myself in all dynamics of life with that like this one person so that's my girl for you and that is why she's like my bestie y'all like <sighs> so she go and watch this video if she does of course if she does find it but i just want to say that um today it is the 21st of february my birthday was on the 18th of february so that was thursday and throughout thursday she definitely made sure that my birthday is a super celebration because you know i'm very calm about my birthday i'm like i don't know what to do should i should i just like you know be chilled about it like should i what not and she was very much insisting that listen we gotta celebrate something you've accomplished so much you're turning a big age so not even on my birthday like in genuine in general she's just a person that celebrates big and small moments small moments in life whether you are doing some small little thing or doing some big little thing if you are her friend and you are in her circle cha, she will celebrate you fully and that's what she did with me so i'm really grateful for all my friends and i'm very grateful for your girl giddy okay Cha. you're my soulmate you bitch you're the bitch bitch but i just want to say girl you genuinely are my ride or die like you are one friendship that i've experienced in life where i'm like it's so natural like guys it's Ciao. Okay, so I'm gonna go to bed now, but thank you so much if you listen to the speech and she don't include it in her vlogs, child. Just know that I made it. <laughs> and I had a little bit too much to drink, but I love you, girl, with my entire heart. You my day one. Eight years later, we're going close to a decade, and this friendship is really amazing. I'm a big girl now we don't just cry cry <laughs> but i'm a big cry baby but i'm not i'm not gonna cry for this one like i'm gonna be strong about it okay all right y'all so good night good night to kitty's channel good night to everybody watching it's been great it's been lovely and it's your girl r to the a to the e t don't forget the s w e it's real hey hey it's real okay good night come and bella bye bye guys it's been great. I love you, girl. Stay in my life forever and ever.